Hi, this is Daryl Evans with TechCrunch, and here we're going to have a look at uh, the new Office for iPad. So as you can see, it shows uh, documents, you know, basically as you'd expect to see them on the desktop. Uh, you can easily replace media in like the preset templates using photos from your library, um, and then, you know, alter and uh, adjust those using touch input, uh, which is pretty cool, and, uh, you know, it feels very natural. Um, and then you can see these are text boxes here. Um, you can go ahead and wipe those out and then do text entry with the touch keyboard or with a Bluetooth keyboard if you have one attached. Um, it'll give suggestions as iOS does, uh, autocorrect as it were, and then you can see you can choose from a variety of built-in fonts, all the fonts you'd expect from Office, um, different formatting options, you can insert uh, images and charts and other graphics just like you can on the desktop, including a, a big library of shapes, all adjustable. Um, text boxes too, and you can see here you can also do various review options um, and layout changes too, so you can change from landscape to portrait documents, uh, basically you know, adjust, adjust text to your needing, and then you can review um, with markup and do track changes and share with others too. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good execution of, of Office on iPad, I would say, and of Word specifically. Um, there you can see you can search, and you can search and do a find and replace, uh, and it sort of takes over the whole interface, which is neat. Um, and if you want to get back, you just sort of tap on anything that you wanted to edit or do input again. Uh, yeah, so it's it's great, and here's your sharing options. You can email as attachment or as a link. Um, you can go ahead and, and exit back, and then you can save it locally, save it to the cloud, save it to your OneDrive. Uh, and edit it again. I'm going to just delete this because I didn't really do anything. And then uh, after that, we can take a look at Excel. Here it is. Um, yeah, so you can see Excel also has a bunch of templates you can work with. And so I'm just working with templates here because I don't actually use Excel that much, to be honest. Uh, you can click on any, tap on any cell to edit. And uh, again, you get a bunch of formatting options here in your basic ribbon uh, menu. You can also see there's lots of formulas, so I'm just going to quickly go through and show you a glimpse of, at, at all the formulas you have here when you do go into edit. Um, there's just so many. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty. I would be surprised if it wasn't as many as you get on uh, the desktop. So it's a very full feature tool here. Um, you can edit away at all your accounting documents or whatever you do with spreadsheets. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, lots of there's so many functions that they're not all visible in the single ribbon menu. You have to expand to see more. <clears throat> and again, you can review these documents um, and then share them and change your, your layout with the user interface, remove elements, hide elements, and show elements. Um, you can also save them just the same way you could and share them with friends uh, via email or links. And again, yeah, save to your cloud if you want. And once it's saved there, it'll automatically update and save as you work. Uh, which is very handy. So here's PowerPoint, uh, which is the final one in the suite. Um, and you can just get started with any of their templates again. Um, just double tap to modify any text box that you may have. And then uh, you can go ahead and change the font there too. Again, there's a the huge list of font. Your formatting options are up top in the ribbon menu. Um, <clears throat> you can also add uh, different slides here. And you've got a whole bunch of templates, just like on the desktop version of types of slides. And you can change those masters as well. And then uh, you can go ahead and add shapes and graphs and charts. Um, you can, if you see here, you can go ahead and uh, also enter presentation mode. Um, and in presentation mode, so it's, it's displaying nothing. It's designed for showing on a big screen. Um, and you tap and you bring back the options and you can view your notes if you have any. There's none here. You can switch to an annotation pen and you can make annotations. Uh, live right on the screen as you're presenting, which is pretty handy. Um, yeah, and you can also review the document just with, uh, as with the other Office suites, uh, and share. And there's a quick button you can see there to enter the presentation mode. Uh, unfortunately, to access the AirPlay functions, you've got to use the system um, AirPlay menu, which is a slight inconvenience, and it's going to mirror your, your display there. Um, but still pretty handy to be able to do that. Um, yeah, so that is basically what we've got. 
Uh, you can add photos again. It requests access one time to your library, and then you get started. Uh, and then you can go and save to OneDrive or to any other destination, local uh, destination. So there it is, Office for iPad.